Hopefully I'm starting to get the hang of this again. Ooh, we got another Sicilian on our hands. Well, what should I do? Um, actually, that's my preferred line. Uh, so this, I don't actually mind going into the theory. I have seen this many a time before. I think I'm ready to face it. Uh, so we get... This is not called a four knights. It's called... Oh, I expected e5. e6 is a lot more timid here. Um, I think I can get away with a3, given that my opponents played e6 instead of the more aggressive e5. And so now we're transitioning. Um, much to my surprise, we're going into a hedgehog structure. I didn't recognize that this transposition was possible, but evidently it is. Um, okay, bishop e7, I'm just going to castle. And let's do a queen d2 or d3. I think d2 is more reasonable here. Um, because of d3, he's got knight e5. Alright, so d6. I forget which rook I'm supposed to develop. I think it's going to be rook a d1. Um, so my opponent's been blitzing this whole thing. And I haven't gotten anything... I haven't gotten any advantage. You would expect normally that if your opponent just blitzes everything, that they overlook something. Um, but it's not clear to me what black has missed. I guess I just have a space advantage, and I get to enjoy said advantage, um, and just peacefully march forward until such time that all heck breaks loose. Um, See, he's clearly intending uh, knight c4. And my only counter to knight c4 would be to just dodge like this. Um, oh, he takes anyway. Would you look at that? I did miss that. Um, I think this is fine. I've gotten pretty much nothing out of this. Um, my friend Pongolo here took advantage of the half-open C file, and B2 is a target, and the fact that I was just dawdling and not really presenting a problem for black. Um, so I wonder what I could have done better. he's calculating. Oh, there's a lot of possibilities here. There's rook b8, uh, there's queen a3, there's e5, um, there's moving one or I, either one of those bishops. And then there's more peaceful things like rook c7 and queen c7. So he could be considering just about anything here. Um, I do have a half open d file to work with. Uh, however, I guess in hindsight, maybe a different way to play this would have been with rook to b1. Um, well, no, my knight on c3 was still loose. Uh, okay, so can I play e5 here? I was actually thinking about that while um, it wasn't my turn. So what's next, buddy? 
Surely you got this far and you had something else prepared. Okay, I got that, I got that. And then maybe he had bishop c5 planned here. Yeah, okay. That's the nuance that I should have been looking for earlier. Um, well, this is interesting. Oh, I guess my queen... Oh. Is my queen trapped? Well played. Um, okay, I guess my queen's trapped, so I have to sack it. I get two pieces, um, though not nearly enough. Um, and I get to try to uh, salvage this. This is going to be interesting. Rook A1, you say. I mean, you sh this is a rated game. I shouldn't be getting advice during the middle of a rated game. Um, so... Oh, I have no time. I've got like almost literally no time. I should pick up the pace a little. Oh, there goes my bishop. Never mind. I needed to play bishop d4, and I'm probably still getting hammered there. Um, so, what happened? I've seen this opening quite a bit, but I've not seen it played this way. Did we transpose? This is a Skaveningen, I guess. I've never seen the pieces lined up this way. Clearly this is the target. I did consider knight b5 here, um, which gains at least two pawns and some initiative. But there must have been some more active way I could have played this. Um, do I have the set to use? Yep, that's going to use the master's database, so that's good. Uh, so a6. Bishop e3 is not so accurate. Oh, I get it. So because he's taking these pawn moves here, I should split this up um, and force him to, like, if I, he ends up recapturing with b takes, then I can push e5, and he's got a hole on d6. So there is some theoretical advantage to be had there. Um, still, what happened here wasn't so bad. Uh, I castled, which is kind of committal. Uh, still okay, but let's see, castle, castle, and yeah, here I start shuffling around, I'm not sure what to do. F4 is somehow better motivated. Um, I guess king h1, we get a really similar position, but now I have not put my queen on d2 walking into a knight fork. Um, so I could play stuff like knight b3, which would allow my bishop to go to d4. I could play queen e1. Ultimately what happened in the game is I was trying to hold on to my b-pawn and I, it fell. And with that, my knight fell, and I got my queen trapped. And it was just one thing after another. Um, okay, yeah, you're pointing out I had some rook a1 stuff here. Uh, incidentally, when I sacked my queen, there is this tactic, rook d3, um, which exploits the fact that the queen does have to protect this bishop. And so this could have gotten complicated. Um, but yeah, later on, presumably here, well, you're saying earlier, somewhere here, 
or no, after my bishop ended up there, I had to get out of that because my rook was, in, he was attacking my rook. I mean, I could have done this here. He would have gone back or something, and I'm still attacked. So there's nothing special about that. You must be talking about rook a1 earlier. I don't know, maybe here. Um, oh, okay, yeah, the same idea as rook d3. You're talking about rook a1 there. Uh, does this work? No, uh, this apparently does not cut it. <laughs> Right, right, so takes, takes, oh, I was expecting something else, okay, so we're hitting that, um, does bishop e2 not work? Why is this more accurate? I guess bishop e2, I just have tons of loose pieces, probably doesn't matter too much which of the moves I pick. Um, bishop e2 ends up happening anyway. Okay, and this is threatening a fork there. Uh, we break this up. Black takes. I recapture. And that's the key, is that e5 drops. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it turns out rook a1 as commits during the game didn't work, but um, it's the right idea. It's just the way it, which it plays out doesn't work out. Uh, rook d3 forces the queen to move, and then you get this queen takes c5 idea. Or rather, because of all that, um, black's going to just take here and white takes back. And it's an okay game. White's not winning or anything because white didn't really have a plan to begin with but white's not losing so i should be more careful where i place my queen um make sure i've got some plan before i start moving it around too much okay we're gonna get c4 no we're not all right let's play c5 then all right free pawn not exactly free but um, more than a bit of an inconvenience for white to take okay I think I've equalized guys I'm pretty sure I have a quality um, so mission accomplished now we play the game We've got out of the opening alive. Um, oh look, I get to fragment my opponent's pawns. What a day. Okay, so where do my pieces go? Um, I don't have time for queen b6 because he's got bishop e3. Um, I can't hang this pawn. I guess I just play a6. Then I could play queen c7 to follow. Um, yep, so I play queen c7 to follow that. And now we've got this rook d8 idea. I'm going to develop my rook to d8. So now what? Eventually I'm going to have a tempo to develop the rest of this. I might have to play knight c6 and split up my pawns too. Um, unless I can find some way to avoid that.
here we go. This is going to defend to e7, so I can move a piece to d7. Looks clunky, but, I mean, where's the weakness? I mean, there's the weakness. Uh, how does white attack it? I don't really see how white approaches. Okay, where's that rook going? It's going to f3. I could just play like knight e5 or knight f6 against it. And then we see slowly I'm unwinding. I have not given up d6. I'm starting to think a6 is not my best or not my finest move ever, but um, what can you do? He's threatening to move his knight with a discovery on my rook. Shall I preempt that um, with some tactics of my own? Let's do it. I did calculate this out. I did spend a little time looking at it. He probably should have played queen c4, though, which I missed. But what I calculated here was that knight's the knight e6 falls to bishop takes hitting his queen so even if i lose my rook i get a queen he gets my rook i get his rook on d1 um so that doesn't work out for him he's gonna need something else here but without that discovery on my rook um i'm a-okay um Wait, do I take or do I play e6? No, I'm going to take. I'm tired of being under this much pressure here. Um, and I'm not seeing a useful discovery for him. So I'll just finish my development in peace. And that'll be that. Um... Not sure where my bishop's gonna go though. Nope, nope, nope. I considered bishop d7. That's walking into a pin though. I don't have anywhere else to place my bishop. Um, so this is kind of awkward. Well, I guess to avoid walking into a pin, I'm gonna block my rook in. Um, yeah, so he retreats likewise. Um, but this knight retreat, um, doesn't seem to gain him much. I could be mistaken. But I think I came out of this okay. trapped his bishop too. That would have been something. I've kind of trapped my bishop, but it's not a big problem. Um, in fact, I've got bishop f5 if I need it, which I don't. Uh, and my bishop's pretty safe here as long as there's two pieces in the way. Oh, um, sure, I'll trade. Um, I guess bishop g7 would have been more accurate. No, that drops my pawns. So this is actually the right way to approach. Um, and we hit the base of the pawn chain and keep hammering away at the pawn chain. Um, I get my passed pawn. As long as he doesn't play h4, there's no threat of a mating net 
so I'm okay. Um, take one of those. Unfortunately, there's no safe bow. Oh, we'll take that. That entirely changes this evaluation. Since this knight can't defend that. Um, so free pawn. And go back and threaten the king. Um, this is ugly. Free pawn, maybe. Not sure. Yeah, that's not the right way to do it, though. And now I'm just winning. Having provoked my opponent to push his pawns, it makes it a lot easier for me to take them. Uh, so we take this one. And we take this one. And we occupy the back rank. And just keep pushing. And if he takes that one, um, I've got my skewer at the ready. Okay, else we're just going to defend that. Um, and this should be just a walk in the park. I just need to promote any one of these pawns. There's no need to promote them all. Um, Leech us, please. Don't drop my move. I might have to stop playing Blitz if that's going to happen. Yeah, okay. Well, that was great. Um, 